Happy Friday, everybody. Um, hope you're doing well. I have just a few minutes. I am running behind because it's Friday and I'm tired. And <laughs> it seems like every Friday I seem to um, run a little bit behind. So this is going to be a quick video. I always say that, but it's, it's going to be a quick video. But I've really debated. Um, and part of the reason that I'm running behind is because I was sitting here trying to figure out um, what all I was going to say because I don't know. You'll see in a second. So I've been debating um, what to talk about as I thought about um, how God was speaking this morning. And um, I was in Luke again. Um, I just moved on to the next, like chapters 13, 14, 15, um, around those. And um, well, let me just say this. This week, um, ba not bad stuff, hard stuff has been happening in our family. We have a family member who um, is struggling with an addiction. Um, and they um, had a rough week. I'll just say that. They had a rough week. And it's been many, many years that um, they've struggled. And so it's just one of those another hard weeks where you just wonder if anything's ever going to change. Um, you know, um, what do we do? What can we do? Um, you know, where's God in all of this? You know, I believe you know God could change their heart in an instant but he hasn't yet um, or they haven't chosen to yet I don't know but kind of heavy heart this week um, in our family so um, I was reading this morning like I said in Luke and came upon the sections for where he talks about the lost sheep the lost coin and the lost son and of course the lost sheep is where he, he um, has a flock of a hundred and only one of the one of the hundred is lost. He leaves the ninety nine and goes after the one, um, the lost coin. The woman um, had a coin and she she lights um, she lights in her house and looks for that coin, sweeps her house and looks for it. Just that one coin that was lost. Um, and then of course the parable um, of the lost son. Good morning, Sherry and Michelle. Um, the prodigal son who leaves, squanders his wealth, and comes back, and the father celebrates, and the son is mad about it because he's been a good son the whole time, which really that was a story about the Pharisees and how they didn't like that sinners were coming um, because they had been the good people the whole time, and the new people didn't deserve that. So um, anyway, so I'm you know struggling with this family member this week um, who would be considered one of those uh, lost sheep, lost coins, lost sons. Um, and I'm, I'm reading this and um, I was reading it specifically about the one with the um, lost coin and it talks about the um, that Palestinian women um, were given and let me make sure I get this right they got 10 silver coins at their wedding and so those coins uh, meant a lot to them so Jesus was using um, something very familiar to people to talk about um, how much um, those coins would have met um, would have meant and so um, so as I'm reading this, I'm thinking about um, even this week, what has happened. So the other day, our anniversary was um, Tuesday. And sometime this week, and I think it actually was on Tuesday, um, one of my kids uh, broke a uh, monogrammed glass um, that we had gotten um, from our wedding. So we had gotten, um, I don't know, those were really popular. So we got married back in the late nineties and I don't think people, I don't know if people do this, like crystal glasses, like, um, and it had like our initial etched in them. Um, I don't even know if people do that anymore for weddings, but that was the thing in the late nineties. And so we had a set and we've had some broken over the years, but another one got broken. And I think it was even on our anniversary and y'all, I was so crushed. Like normally I don't, like care so much about you know physical things and you know it's like whatever move on but you know like your wedding stuff is you know it's kind of special to you because you can't like you can replace it but you can't really replace that specific gift and I was so sad and I was having to you know pick up the glass and, I, and, and it was actually in the carpet so I was vacuuming the glass and you know just had to throw the whole cup away it was not salvageable at all and I was um I was so sad about it and it was on our, like I said, it was at least our anniversary week. If not, I think it was on our anniversary day. So it was, you know, bad timing. Um, but I was thinking about that and how much just that simple glass um, from our wedding meant. And I think about the women who had gotten those 10 silver coins about how if they had lost one of those, um, you know, they would be searching their house for that. And so, and that got me to thinking, you know, God, you know, Jesus was using this as a parable or a metaphor, or however he uses that to say, you know, 
you understand how much that means to you and if you had one lost you would go after if you had one broken how much how sad that would make you and you know I just really felt that God was saying you know my heart is broken over my um, my person that is lost um, and I think God just really um, I don't know identified with me and just let me know how much his heart is broken too and how much he is not giving up and he is lighting that light and searching for them and he is you know gone after the lost sheep and um, he hasn't given up and um, and just you know how his heart he just showed me a little bit of his heart that he is just so heartbroken um, and that he is not giving up on um, on going after them so I don't know I don't know if you have a um, number one I want to say if you feel like that lost person um, in Christ that God um, has such a heart for you as um, you might be lost and maybe you feel like you're on the wrong track or something that God um, God has such a heart for you and that he is rejoicing it one of the things that says that um, there is much rejoicing over heaven when the lost sheep comes back and that he is not waiting for you to get your life all together to come to him that just as you are you know the prodigal son came home after eating with the pigs um, he didn't get his life cleaned up to come home and the father rejoiced he came as he is so if you are if you feel like you're one of those lost people, um, you can go straight to God and he is going to rejoice and all heaven is going to rejoice with you. And um, so, and then to encourage second, there's people in our lives. If you have people in your lives that are, um, you know, the prodigals that are lost, uh, maybe it would encourage you that God uh, has a heart for them. He hasn't given up on them. He's got the lights on. He is sweeping the house. He has gone after that. He's going after that one sheep and um, we just keep praying uh, for them and, and, asking for wisdom on how to intervene or not intervene or whatever um, and join him in that um, search for um, the lost so um, I guess that's kind of a sad topic for Friday but um, that's just where that's just where my heart is um, this week after this week so um, it's gonna be actually a fun day and a fun weekend um, today is um, yes Marie uh, your your daughter and your family are in my prayers um, but my fun day is that this is my first, I have an interview for Feathers for the podcast today. It's my first interview back for um, hopefully season seven. I haven't yet announced when um, season seven of the Feathers podcast is coming back. I actually don't know yet. I, I need to get a couple interviews under my belt. There's been several people that have been reaching out about doing that, but I got to get them um but I got to get them scheduled. So today is my first one back. If you would pray for me as I jump back into that, um, I don't know. I've been sort of dragging my feet about this whole season. I don't know why, but um, if y'all could encourage me <laughs> and pray for me uh, as I jump back into a season um, and get that. But anyway, I talked to somebody yesterday um, and she kind of lit a fire under me and excited about it. Um, it's just, you know, it's work. So um, got to back got to get back into that anyway all right I, I think I'm late yeah I got it's after eight o'clock so I got to um, finish up and um, jump back into work so let me pray just real quick Lord Jesus thank you so much for the encouragement this morning um, I do just pray for our um, our people who are the lost sheep I just pray that you would continue um, to run after them um, and help us to know how to best support that and come alongside of you to um, draw people to you um, just encourage us, keep us, um, keep us encouraged, and help us not to lose uh, lose hope and lose faith, and um, help us to um, look after them just as you are looking after them. Um, just thank you for what you're going to do uh, in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, it's always weird when I open back my eyes; it's like so bright. <laughs> Um, all right, so if you are still watching and if you have somebody else that you are praying for, if you want to, I, mean, I would love if you message me a name or you want to leave, you know, just raise your hand, say you have somebody to pray for. I would love to pray for them um, over the weekend. So do that. You guys have a great weekend and we will see you back on Monday. Bye, guys.